Hey, we're back. Hey. The Mac and Rocker Podcast. Josh, how you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? Oh, real good. How you been? Real good. Uh, good. Yeah, much better. Yeah. Uh, I had some blood sugar issues this week, and it, it kind of put me in the yeah. in bed for a while, yeah. you know. So uh, doing much better, though, and uh, glad to be back for yeah. number nine. Yes. Yeah. Nine. Technically, it should be ten. We <laughs> yeah. we have a lost uh, yeah. podcast out there somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah, but it's great to be back, man. Yeah, and it we, really is. And uh, we're going to have a uh, a fun topic today, folks. Yeah. Josh and I are going to talk about conspiracies. Oh, oh, wait. No. Oh. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, conspiracies. Yes. all right having fun with the roadcaster mixer here folks and you know what too josh thanks for josh brought over a uh what is that a 20 inch 22 inch uh Uh, 22 yeah yeah and uh so we can like um monitor the you know the podcast so if you see us going like this in the AI like there, we're looking at the monitor up there folks so uh thanks josh for bringing that over no problem that's really cool um you know, yeah, I know Josh appreciates it, and I, I've had some other people who went to uh, Huntington for film and, and oh, yeah. things like that, you yeah. know, and they, they've been here, and they, they really get a kick out of the studio down here. Oh, it's awesome. What do you think? Yeah, I enjoy it. You have yeah. fun? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think it comes out in our podcast. Yeah. You know, it's it's kind of cool. I got a table. I don't. We don't use a desk, so Josh is actually sitting across the table from me. One of these days, we'll have our third camera yeah. angle that, that catches the the whole shot. There, uh, we'll do that soon. I actually, we actually did a couple of podcasts ago, but I never did uh, edit it in there right. But uh, we'll get that soon. But anyway, we're at a table, and then there's all kind. Of, I I sit in the cockpit. I call it. I got there's computer screens all over. And, yeah. Editing, yeah, it's fun being down here. It's a good vibe, and I'm just goose. Yeah, <laughs> talk talk to me, goose. I see a lot of those shirts. Oh yeah, talk to me, goose. Yeah, you know, I know that's I, pretty cool. I I love I love the old uh, Top Gun yeah. stuff and everything. I mean, my my gamer tag is, is Jester. Uh, oh cause, yeah, because me and my buddies got together and we. Uh, we Very decided cool. to make call sign, or our, our gamer tag was always going to be call signs from uh, Top Gun. Very cool. So we've got an Iceman, we've got a Maverick, we've got a Jester. Um, Very cool. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah. Uh, and you and I have talked about um, doing gaming some Fortnite, yeah. you know, together, mm-hmm. and then that'd be really cool, and then we'll yeah. we'll post it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, we'll put it on YouTube and Facebook. I mean, I'm not great at the game, but I have fun. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, I I have found like you know since I always post my uh, I always take a screenshot when I get a victory right yeah and I post it on Facebook and Instagram and then so I get a lot of people they'll say oh hey what's your game let's play and yeah I fly alone my friends but I've had a couple of people that I've played with and it, it my style is just not it, it, it's I march to the beat of my own drummer yeah. Now, if I play duos or squads, and I do, I do have a squad I play with mm-hmm. once in a while. It's my yeah. brother-in-law and his best friend, and uh, those guys are so cool, and um, that's fun. Yeah, I, I, you know, with the headsets. Hey, over here, you know, <laughs> you're calling them out. It's so cool. Northwest. Yeah, right. Or I do two thirty-five. Right, Northwest two thirty-five. Yeah, yeah. Just like that's perfect, Josh. That's yeah. exactly how I do it. And, when we first started playing together, they're like, what? What are you talking about? I said, the numbers, the yeah, yeah. the, the it's compass, about the, it's about the top. yeah, <laughs> two thirty-five, and they're like, oh, and now every so the the two guys I play with when we when we play, which is rare anymore, yeah, but uh, you know, they're like, yeah, it's, it's north northeast two thirty-five, you know, yeah, uh, that's works I mean, great. I grew up in the well, I guess yeah, I guess I did. I mean, I grew up during the three hundred and sixty age when you know Call of Duty was really kind of starting to really yeah. make a name for itself. Uh, Rainbow Six Vegas came out. Oh, and, I remember and, that one. You know, uh, what's what's the other one? Ghost Recon? Ghost uh, Recon. Ghost Re- that was a tough one because you had to work Hard. together. You had to. And so, you know, me and my friends, we just got used to, you know, communicating and talking yeah. and stuff. And um, so there's times where I find it hard to play because my kids don't play like 
we did. Like they're your friends. Yeah, they're yeah. over there. They're just emoting, and the next thing you know, they're jumping and then they're, they're taking <laughs> off. And I'm just like, where where are they at? And they're like, oh yeah, I'm over here. I just took out a whole squad. No, and I'm like, no, what is no going clue. on? Yeah. No communication. None, none. And then they hit they hit the gritty or something. And it's just that, like that would be my daughter when I play with her. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. There's no system. There's no yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and now Riley, he he knows, yeah. so he knows the compass and the two thirty fives, the one sixties, yeah. whatever. So, uh, in like your your sons who bail you out a lot, Riley will always bail me out. You yeah, know. yeah. I, Riley, I'm down again. Okay, be right there. <laughs> yeah. I've been I've been knocked. Okay, on my way. Yeah, <laughs> you know. I, I mean, Connor, destroys everything in sight. Yeah, Connor. He, I was. <laughs> I, I think. Uh, I think I went down like right first. You know, three four minutes of a match. And he's like, oh, I'll get you. And he, he's he's just kind of doing his thing, and he's doing all this different stuff, finally gets my card. And until there was like maybe 12 players left, he finally got a chance to yeah. reboot me. I'm just like, like you didn't even the game. need me. Yeah. yeah. They're so, good. Yeah. What can you say? It's such a fun game. It good is. grief. I love it, man. Yeah. It's, it's I only play it twice a week, which is, uh, you know, Saturday morning, Sunday morning. But, man, do I have yeah. fun. I played before you came over and recorded some. So, yeah. um, so we were going to talk about conspiracies. Mm-hmm. All right. So we, we like to keep the podcast at a half an hour or a little over sometimes. So I thought, Josh, you could tell me some of your... Yeah, yeah. The ones you're thinking about, and I'll I'll just let you have it. Uh, You know, I mean, I want to start off by... I don't don't disagree with a lot of the theories. Like, I don't. There's a lot of... I like to entertain conspiracy theories because I feel like, for one, to me, they're fascinating. It's interesting to kind of go down those paths. Do I know the facts? No, no, I don't. But it is fun to to think about. It is interesting to think about. Um, so the more interesting the theory, the more I'm on board. Now, you'll never sell me on flat Earth. <laughs> Just, I mean, I've seen I've seen too many things to say. Like, uh, you know, I guess you could say pictures are doctored, but I know people believe in flat Earth. Uh, I just, yeah, I just, it's not, my, it's not my thing. Well, lo- uh, look through a telescope. Number one, you can always see the moon. Yeah. It's round. Yeah. It's a sphere. And, uh, one time I looked at Jupiter through the telescope and it was gorgeous. And not only could you see Jupiter, but you could see several of its satellite moons. Yeah. And it was awesome. And they are round. Yeah. 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 So that's one that I, I just, I don't know. I mean, I just, that one I can't, but the one that I absolutely love, and I watched a documentary on it years ago, and it was one of those where I just like, yeah, I'll check it out, and next thing I knew, I couldn't stop watching it. Really? And I wish I could remember what it was titled, um, because I would recommend anybody to watch it if you enjoy just even entertaining conspiracy theories, but it was about Paul McCartney. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, for those that are not familiar the theory is that Paul McCartney died in 1964, 66. 66, 66, and that he was replaced by the British government out of fear of uh, mass hysteria by fans. And, and um, so they, they held a competition and... Um, uh, Billy Ayers. Yes, Billy Ayers wins the, the competition and becomes the new Paul McCartney. Um, and then throughout history or throughout the, the Beatles history, there is, uh, information that, um, they put, uh, signs and, and, and things in their album covers and their songs and different things saying that, Hey, you know, Paul, Paul died. This is not Paul, uh, Paul McCartney. If you're listening, I'm sorry. Um, it's just a fascinating theory. <laughs> so, yeah. I wonder what he thinks about all that. I, you know, I, I would be interested to find out he probably doesn't entertain it right he's just like whatever uh, remember on saturday night live when chris farley used to do the interviews and mm-hmm. he says so you didn't really die did you <laughs> oh no chris i'm i'm still here yeah you know oh man you know yeah farley, god bless him i miss farley yeah um that was uh so chris asked him about that in the 90s mm-hmm. you know uh there's a guy 
Josh. His name is Josh Reeves. His show is called The Global Reality with Josh Reeves. Yeah. And he has at least three three documentaries. It's called Fall, the movie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You download those, check out the global reality and, and watch those. Yeah. Because it's so compelling. It is interesting. And and the interesting thing about this documentary, it was told from like uh, it was like it was letters or supposedly they were letters from George Harris. George Harrison. George, yeah. Mm-hmm. George, Harrison. George Harrison. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh that he wrote it before he died, you know, everything like that, you know, or it was recordings or, you know, something that, you know, he was basically saying, Hey, no, this is, this is the whole story. And, you know, before I die, I'm going to tell it. And, you know, it also goes on to mention that's why John Lennon was shot was that he called and said, I'm coming forward. I'm tired of hiding it. Um, According to them, Phil Spector knew about it also. Yeah. Yeah. So there was, there was so many people that knew and then they were taken out. Under yeah. strange circumstances or something yeah. strange happened to him. So yeah. it was, it's, it's a very interesting story, especially when you start kind of diving into some of the, um, the hidden images and symbols and stuff and the, and the playing the songs backwards and everything. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. Now, again, I don't know if it's real and we may never know, but it's a very fascinating story. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. I hope, I hope, Above all things, it's not true because I do too. I love Paul McCartney, yeah. And I suppose if it is true, well, this guy is awfully good because he's eighty-three years old and playing for two to three hours. Yeah. Okay, that's hard to do. Yeah. Let alone play bass and sing, Uh play piano and sing. I mean, I'm sure at his shows he's uh, still playing. He plays guitar too. Yeah. That ain't easy at any age, let alone no. 83. Yeah. So kudos to Billy Ayers, I suppose. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. There, There's some compelling, a lot of conspiracies like that. You have some cons- compelling aspects that mm-hmm. make you say, okay, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Is there some truth to it? And that, that Paul McCartney stuff's real, man. I'm telling you, those videos that, that Josh Reeves made, those documentaries— I'll, I'll bring him up for you before you leave and just yeah. take a look at him because it's like, oh, my God, he's he's got some valid points. Oh, yeah. I mean, you watch uh, Ancient Aliens. And, again, I, it's hard to tell what's fact and fiction sometimes, but when you look at some of the, the, the arguments and some of the evidence and stuff, you kind of go uh, very – Real possible. I mean, this this world's so big. We don't and so know. old. Yeah, we so old. It's enough. Like something like Ancient Aliens, which is, is just a just a fun show. My it is. Dear. And I met those. I met Giorgio. Uh, oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. William Henry, Dave Childress, uh, Travis, uh, the guy from Skinwalker Ranch, Travis, oh, yeah, yeah. and then also uh, Nick Pope, which was a real honor to yeah. to to meet Nick. Pope and, and Giorgio too, and he's a left-hander. That was really cool. But uh, out of those, was it five guys? The one I I didn't trust was Travis, because when I watched the show, I'm like, this guy, this is this is just <laughs> horse crap. Yeah. And this guy's obviously a spook, or he's working for the CIA. Well, yes, he is, and he's also <laughs> working for NASA. Yeah. He has. I came away after I met him, Josh. I was like, oh, I was wrong about this guy. Oh. This guy was so cool, man. Really? He was just the coolest dude. Yeah. And I came away with a, a newfound respect for him, yeah. for sure. And uh, I was like, okay, he, maybe he does. And he probably does work for the CIA, but it's legitimate. You know, it's not too, uh, it's probably legitimate work. But he was working for NASA yeah. at the time uh, I met him, which was a year or two ago. Cool. He was working for NASA, and they're working on these huge projects, you yeah. know. And I was just, I was in awe because he's sitting there telling my brother and I this stuff, and I'm like, okay. And then he sees my shirt, and he goes, "Man, I love Joe Satriani." He goes, "I just saw him at the the last tour." I'm like, "That's where I saw him." He goes, "Yeah, that guy's awesome." You know, we talked about Joe Satriani because yeah. of my shirt, and uh, well, he he definitely broke the ice, which he uses my tactics if I if I don't know you and you're wearing something. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I I'll you create you yeah. boom. Yeah, yeah. Dale, I learned that from Dale Carnegie. Yeah. <laughs> um. 
works like a charm. But he did that on me, and I'm like, man, this guy's good. And I yeah, come away a fan yeah. after that. So now I like Skinwalker Ranch so, when I watch it. I'm see, like, that's, okay, that's I such like a it. better way, you know, because it's it's so much better to go. I don't know. I'm skeptical on this guy, and then you meet him. You're like, I I'm a fan. Changed my mind. It, it's a bummer when it's the opposite. Yeah, don't meet your heroes, mm -hmm. right? They say. Yeah. And I, I I can see that. But you know, I do when I go see. I go watch Collective Soul a lot when they're closed. Yeah. And they're going to be here in Fort Wayne and here in a couple of weeks. And I always do the meet and greet because, yeah. you know, man, that guy's been a huge, Ed, Ed, the, the whole band, but Ed's been a huge influence on me since yeah. 1994, day one, yeah. you know. And so it's, it's always fun to tell them that. And those, so I get to meet those guys every other year or so. And it's, uh, you can meet those guys. Those, for musical heroes, those guys yeah. are awfully cool. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's awesome. When that's you can hear nice. That. Yeah, I mean that's because you know it's hit or miss with those people. I'm sure. Yeah, and and because to me, I, I still I think they're they're people. They're still people, and they're, they're tired. They're, they're tired. They're worn they're out. doing stuff. Um. So yeah, I always kind of I'm like uh, I'm, I know sometimes I'll meet and greets and stuff, and that's the whole point of it. But there's other times like yeah, you know what? I don't want to meet my heroes. Yeah. Like, uh, I, yeah. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll keep the illusion, but keep the illusion. Yeah, this I'll tell you what these four, these five when we met them, the ancient aliens fellas. Yeah, uh, they were just wonderful people. Yeah, and Giorgio, man, he put his arm up on me, you know, and and uh, what an honor because I love Giorgio. Yeah. I just think he's he's fun, he's cool, his hair. You yeah, know. oh yeah. I'm not saying it was aliens, but yeah, it's, it's aliens, a, right? That meme yeah. is so funny. Yeah. And there's you know? times like I don't always like he'll say some stuff. I'm like. Mm. You know, but the thing I like about him is he gets me thinking, and I'm I'm okay with that. Right? Is the the evidence, the stuff they put on the show? I shouldn't say evidence, but the the things, the topics they cover, yeah. and the places they go to. My God, in high definition on our our nice TVs looks yeah. so great. Mm -hmm. Then it's enough to say, oh, well, how did they do that? Yeah, who did that? Yeah, is that even possible? 5,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago, you know? One of the most fascinating things to me was when they were talking about these stone blocks, stone walls that they built, uh, that uh, the ancient ancient people, ancient civilization built. And they are cut to such precision that they, they sit in there perfectly. And I've, I've worked in, uh, you know, as a CNC machinist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I believe you, you mm -hmm. have as well. Yeah. Um, there are times when trying to get things to fit perfectly with the equipment we have available mm -hmm. to us now with computer aided programming and is awesome difficult. Tools. Yes. Very Some difficult. of the best tooling in the history of the world, you know? Um, and then you sit there and look, these walls were built a thousand years ago, whatever. And you're like, how in the world did they do that mm, with, with chisels, the precision? The precision. It, yeah. it, so it, when they brought that kind of topic up, you're like, great question they're like oh i had to have been you know this or an advanced technology and i'm like I, we don't yeah. know we don't really have evidence but there's no evidence either way but can you do that with chisels especially wooden i i, I or even other are, stones do we know any are there any masons or <laughs> sculptors that you know uh comment let us know but yeah. um the, and yeah. the the size the 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 amount of weight of I know what, what you're talking about down there in uh, I think it's around like Peru yeah or... close to it, one of those spots yeah but it's also up elevated mm -hmm. the, you're talking about the walls where they can't you can't take a credit card and yeah, go you through can't the even, cracks they're, they're, yeah. they're like you know perfect shapes yeah. and they're all they they fit together and mm -hmm. they're then they've got like the the cutouts almost looks like an H. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, it's like a dovetail kind of. I, sh I should know this. I've watched it enough. Yeah, uh, uh, and then they've got like the, the little stuff. squares that like taper in. Yes, and, and, mm -hmm. and you're and they're like there's no chisel marks. There's yeah. no, and it's like uh, it's possible over a thousand years those war, but uh, there's so many things that make you think. Rogan had a guy on this year. Uh, he's an engineer, I believe. He's from Britain, and he he had a lot to say about the work and the Giza Plateau and the pyramids and yeah, things yeah. like that. And he's he's convinced they had uh, diamond drills and things oh, like yeah. that mm -hmm. because of the perfection of the drilling yeah. and the cutting of some of the stuff they found over there. Yeah. And he, he also, he's the guy who thinks that the pyramids were used as a uh, power. Yeah, 
yeah. power plant. That's that's an interesting. Yeah, his name's Chris. Chris something. I can't remember his last name, but he was on Rogan this year. And yeah. of course, I I've, I've seen him on Ancient Aliens years ago and stuff. And I was like, mm, interesting stuff. You know, fun stuff. It, it it really is. I mean, it starts to make you think. You start to kind of. Do, do you, you think know. anybody knows? Do you think there's someone on the planet that knows, and then they're just suppressing that information? Um, I would say. There's definitely at least somebody, a group that has a very, very good understanding of yeah. of everything, and that they may not have the definitive like hundred percent, but I would say you know we work in quality, some confidence. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, and they keep that stuff quiet. Yeah, yeah, and, and I mean, you think out, think of it as an individual. The wow. individual, like one of the one of quotes, and I'm going to butcher it real fast. Uh, that I, I've seen from a movie is from Men in Black. Tommy Tommy Lee Jones basically says, you know, a, a person is smart, but a group, a group, well, yeah, 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 they're a little smarter, huh? Yeah, it, yeah. I uh, I lost I lost my <laughs> I had a topic and I lost it. You mentioned Men in Black and it got me thinking. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good conspiracy theory too. Those guys. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, you've heard, you know, there's been stories of people, you oh, know, they, yeah. they see a UFO sighting or yeah. something. And then next thing you know, they're like, oh, these, these guys in black suits and black SUVs and cars showed up out of nowhere. And, yeah. Even the old days. Yeah. You know, there's wearing fedoras and mm -hmm. whatnot. Uh, Jesse Ventura played a, a man in black on one of the X-Files. Oh, it nice. was just brilliant. Yeah. That one was one of the most funnest, coolest TV shows yeah. I ever saw. That that one there is kind of trying to debunk the alien abduction thing, and, and Jesse yeah. was a man in black. Yeah, yeah, it was real cool. Uh, that that show. Yeah. Huh. All right. So there could be a conspiracy to keep some of that stuff quiet. Yeah, you I know. mean, I think I think you. Where they where they want you to think, okay, yeah, aliens built it, aliens did it. Yep, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Go ahead and keep thinking that. Yeah. That's yeah. what we want you to think. Something like and, that, you know. And I'm not taking away from ancient civilizations because no, some no, of the yeah. stuff that they they and uh, super intelligent. Mm -hmm. Like some of the things we look at and Must we're like, been. man, you, how you, can you build those pyramids the way they built them? Exactly. Josh? Exactly, uh, Roman the the Roman concrete. We're just now figuring out how Roman <laughs> they had concrete roads works. all over the all yeah. ro all roads lead to Rome, right? Yeah. yeah, it's it's incredible, and and to think many of those roads are still there. Yeah. They may have been covered, but they're there. Yeah, and they're intact. Well, they also had uh you know working uh, waterways, yeah. aqueducts, like aqueducts still run functional. Water. Yeah, mm -hmm. how cool um, is that? Jeez. It's you know. A ancient civilizations were highly intelligent. Um, now, you know, there are cases where you can make an argument for, did they have some help? <laughs> uh, sometimes I wonder if uh, if they did, you know. Yeah. I, you have to wonder, um, you know, did it come from a dream? Did it come from someone from somewhere else? Yeah. You know, yeah. did they... Did you know? Were they? Uh, did they get high, not on purpose, but by accident with uh, you know uh, hallucinogens from mushrooms or yeah. something like that, and then think of this stuff? You know, it's and it's very. I mean, we often think, you know, how did how did how did we know what mushrooms to to eat? You know, mm -hmm. so it's very yeah. possible. You know, people sure. trying to figure things out. You got to trial and error it. So. I know, I know. There's all kinds of. I know on Rogan's show they've talked about the stone date theory and things like that. Yeah, and there might be some, uh, the, you know, that ayahuasca. Who the heck figured out ayahuasca? You you have to create it. Yeah, it's a concoction. Yeah. It's not just some one thing. You, you pull this vine down and there it is. No, yeah. you have to create it. Well, uh, how'd they figure that out? Uh, eggs, like. You know who who was the first person who was like ah if I crack this thing open and then, you know put apply some heat to it I can eat this egg <laughs> you know well uh, I mean if you want to go I like that <laughs> yeah what came first the chicken or the egg yeah. right you know um, I mean there's there's so many things like I I often think about that like because berries all right all right conspiracies yeah what came first the chicken or the egg right <laughs> and how is it that <laughs> Something that was created out of nothing. Yeah. 
or, or two things coming together. Mm-hmm. And next thing you know, you have a, a small little person that big yeah, who grows up to be, you know, six foot tall yeah. and six foot, what, what are you, six one? Six foot, yeah. Okay. And everything works properly. Our eyes are, are sp- the spinal oh, yeah. system, everything the nervous system. Our, yeah, yeah. Okay, it works. It grew from that from nothing to that. Yeah. Okay, so chicken or the egg? The older I get, Josh, the more I believe that we are in a simulation. I, I again, you know, it, it's there's evidence to say there's there's evidence to say yes and no. But the thing I love about it is it makes you think. It makes you think, and then the older I get, I'm like that. That's absurd. When I first heard that, mm-hmm. you know, I'm like, okay, that's absurd, and then I. You know, I got to thinking, well, how in the heck is everything so perfect Yeah, that we have this consciousness, this life, mm-hmm. and then our star, we're in perfect approximation from the star, and then yeah. our even our moon, which technically is very odd, and some people, scientists say it shouldn't really be the way it is, or yeah. at least be there, it keeps us in like a perfect balance. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the climate, like just, that's another thing that blows my mind and makes me feel tiny and insignificant at times uh especially when i go to the ocean you're just like well mm-hmm. i'm just a grain of sand in the ocean yeah you know? um but it's how perfect everything had to be yeah and, and it still has to be for us to to maintain life on this planet um it's amazing now you know humans can adapt that's one of our superpowers right but there's only so much adaption you can do when when the the situation's not right yeah um I, I saw something years ago where it said six degrees is is basically what controls uh whether life as we know it stays on earth or goes if it oh, if wow. it increases by six degrees um overall uh we we start having issues with you know heat and and different things and and Certain uh, species can't survive and plant species can't survive and different things like that. If it decreases by six degrees, same thing. Now, humans can still adapt, but the way we live is going to change dramatically. Change, and it's yeah. just, it, to me, it's like six degrees a change is small. Yeah, it seems like it. I mean, it changed. I mean, what is it? It. it I mean, it's changed two degrees since I've woke, woke okay, up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, right. Um, but that's, that's like an overall, like, it's not like, oh, Hey, you know, it's supposed, it should be 76 today, but it's 80, 82. Yeah. It's, it's like long-term yeah. yearly yeah. growth. Uh, We're definitely going through a cycle this year, aren't we? Yeah. Holy yeah. cow. Cause it's, it's August and it feels like fall already. It's mm. been, it's been an odd cold August. July, August yeah. period. For I mean, sure. I'm not going to complain that 72, 76, yeah, you know, those nice. days were real nice. Yeah. Real nice. Uh, yeah. A little chilly in the golf cart. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm yawning. <laughs> Sorry. I've been yawning. Uh, you know, I wake up early, so I apologize. No, you're fine. I'm not bored. Yeah. <laughs> uh, especially talking about conspiracy theories. I mean, it's just like, what did come first? Mm-hmm. The, the chicken or the egg? Well, a single cell organism come out of the ocean, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you know? Yeah. How do we know? I, just... I know. It, it's, it's a fascinating topic, and I know, and I know. There's there's the um, two arguments currently right now unless there's a third one I'm not aware of. You you have the the religious argument and then you have the evolution argument, and um, I think the beauty of both of them is there there's there's good arguments for either yeah, side for either side and, sure there, and there's evidence proof and you know science of course and. and you know, people have witnessed miracles happen before their very eyes, things yeah. like that. Yeah. And the thing I love about it is, though, it's when done civilly, it's a great conversation. Yeah. It's so much civilly. fun. That is the key. It is such a fun conversation because, you know, you get people thinking and you can kind of talk and it's it's fun. When it's done civilly, sometimes an open mind goes a long way, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. And an open heart. Yeah. I've noticed, you know. Some people, some people, you just can't reach, though. Yeah, and you know, I I give them credit; they stick to what they believe. Yeah, and that's okay. Kudos to that. Yeah, yeah, keeps keeps them in a, you know, 
this is how it is, this is how I'm going to behave, this is how I think, and yeah. a good routine of, you know, eh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Try, you know, don't tread on me. What's <laughs> uh, what's your thoughts on the, the Freemasons and the Knights Templar? Oh, yeah, well, they, you know, uh, not so much a secret society anymore, right? Yeah. But they... uh. I believe they had that treasure, the Templars did, and they, they hid it. Yeah. And they had a lot of knowledge, mm -hmm. obviously, because the, the Masons kind of, I think, stemmed from yeah. the Knights Templar. And, uh, you know, the, the Freemasons, you get up in the higher degrees, and they know things, uh, what they call that, esoteric and uh, mm -hmm. uh, ancient, uh, you know, knowledge, you know. And, and the, I know the Freemasons, their, their big thing is, uh, you know, believe in something higher than than you yeah you know and it might be anybody you know jesus buddha yeah you know yeah. some some alien like uh you know what's his name from uh scientology you know. oh, i thought you were gonna say yeah uh, you know I thought you were gonna say zuckerberg <laughs> yeah uh, no z z new <laughs> yeah you know uh believe in something like that i think they, they they're big on a higher power yeah. Um, and I, I don't, I don't knock the Masons at all. No, no. Um, they know how to build, right? I mean, look at some of that architecture, those uh, cathedrals and oh, some the, of those... the temples and stuff. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. And I love good architecture, so yeah, yeah it's really neat to see. Some of that stuff's fascinating. Yeah. And, uh, where did that come from? How did they figure that out? You know, and the cornerstone. Mm -hmm. You know, the uh, the cornerstone there at the Capitol. In Washington D.C., yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty cool. They got that marked mm -hmm. there in the Capitol building. Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, no, I've always I've always been fascinated by the Masons. It's it's uh, like any time like uh, History Channel. I mm -hmm. miss the old History Channel. Um, I, I miss a lot of the stuff they because they covered so many different things. Yeah, and, um, but you know they had a lot of specials and different shows on the Freemasons, and um, it was always intriguing. It was always very intriguing, and and it was it was I don't know I mean a secret society like that's that stuff as a little kid you're just like oh man yeah. I'm in a secret society, um so it was always fascinating to kind of see that stuff and then to see how many presidents we've had uh, mm -hmm. that were Freemasons yeah, sure. and yeah. well most um, of the founding fathers yeah were involved yeah so much so that George Washington you know he he wrote that infamous letter I can't remember who he wrote it to I want to say Adam Weishaupt. And Adam Weishaupt, I think, was the Illuminati. So I, I'm probably wrong. It might have been someone over in, in Britain or France, maybe, where he warned that the, the Illuminati were infiltrating uh, the yeah. Freemasons and yeah. things like that. I, and I'm wrong on who he wrote it to, folks, sorry. But he did write that letter, and he did express concern about the, <laughs> the Illuminati. Yeah. I'm like... <laughs> In what 1700s, yeah, right, like that, yeah. yeah. And we're still talking about and, that. And not know? only was he, you know, General Washington, he was at the time he wrote the letter, he was president, yeah, of the United States. You know, yeah, cool stuff. And all those guys, a lot of them, you know, they were Masons. Yeah, it's 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 incredible. I mean, it's really fascinating to see, you know. And we'll never know on the outside. We'll never know what goes on behind their closed doors. And you know, it's. Uh, you would be surprised. Sure. You might know this, but you'd be surprised how many people we work with who are Freemasons. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, of course, the the temple is right across the street. Yeah, from, from, yeah. You know, one of our buildings. So. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, I I have good friends that are, and um, they're great people. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, Josh, you know, most of the founding fathers of this country were in that sect. Yeah. And if if w their idea of the United States of America. The way it is and the way they set it up, I'm all right with that. Yeah. I'm all right if you're a Freemason and that's how you think. Yeah. We're, you're free. You know, this is the freest, of, you know, should be the freest of any nation, mm -hmm. any country on earth, you know. I mean, we can argue certain things. Yeah. We're so free. Yeah. I got all the licenses and permits to prove it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm so licensed. You know, I'm cool with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm, I mean, when it comes to like hunting and fishing and stuff, 100% get it. It's more of a, a conservation act than it is yeah. just to be like, oh yeah, no, I'm gonna allow you to do it. Um, you know, nothing, nothing worse than killing off an entire population of yeah, not good. Yeah, um, no. but um, 
no, I get that. There's you know, there's other things where I'm like, do we need to pay? This, really? Do we need to pay for this sticker? Yeah. On my license plate, and does it need to be a hundred effing dollars every I, year? They, I had to get a new plate this year. I just got a new one last year. Yes. Yeah, see, it's highway robbery. Ah. That's that's big government. <laughs> you know, that's big government there. needs to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that that's you know the rent is too damn high. Mm-hmm. It was that you know as brand I sent that to Brandon. Yeah, that guy uh, McMillan, you know that that dude from Manhattan. Yeah. He, he wore those white gloves. The rent is too damn high, and what what that means is everything is too expensive mm-hmm. now. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. I mean, it's, come on. You'd say it's almost a conspiracy. Yes, one one would whether it's uh, you know the conspiracy of you know our. Is inflation happening, you know, because people want it to? A certain group of people want it to happen. So, it, you know, you know, yeah, there's a lot there, too, man. We, man I know we could go on. We're going to have to have another conspiracy show. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to make this a part one. Yeah, part <laughs> okay, conspiracies with Mac and Rocker. Yeah. So we talked about <laughs> Paul McCartney, mm-hmm. pretty cool, and simulation. Simulations, Masons. Masons, of uh, course. Ancient and, aliens. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, you know, good stuff. Yeah. And there's, I, some, there's some... The the question I I ask about the things we talked about today is is that information is there someone out there that knows the truth mm-hmm. and they keep it you know they don't yeah. they keep it from you, you know? yeah and uh, that's you know my challenge right now is if if you're watching you know leave a comment you yeah know, let us know what your thoughts are on this because if, if you like what you see folks yeah and you want to support Josh and I the Mo- uh, Mac and Rocker podcast just uh, click like subscribe and share. Yeah. And uh, leave us some comments and let us know what you think, please. Yeah. I mean, it, th- like I said, this is part one. Maybe we can do part two and, oh, yeah. you know, give us give us some of your ideas. What, what do you what do you find? Yeah, we can look, we and, can read and. I mean, we haven't even touched the. The, no. uh, the big uh, ones. Kennedy and. Kennedy, right? Oh, man. 9-11. 9-11. You know. Yeah. Huge conspiracy there. Uh, aliens in general, UFOs yeah. and aliens. MK you know. Ultra. MK Ultra, good stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think that's so much more conspiracy anymore than proven that it was real. You yeah, know? or at least they were trying to study it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, folks, we're gonna wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe on YouTube and leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Okay. You have a fun one. Yeah. So well, this is conspiracies part one with Mac and Rocker. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs>